Now, this is what I heard. I heard there was some kind of chase. I heard they were shooting at someone earlier in the day. But even saying that, did it look like any of those cops was worried about getting shot when they ran to that car? Did it look like those cops were concerned in any way about any weapons or anything being in that car? Nope. All I know is what I saw. All we saw is what we were allowed to see, actually. Technically, they could have pulled that shit before anybody saw anything. Technically, they didn't have to run it. When the first guy got snatched, the video feed could have went down from the goddamn chopper. You know. Uh, father time. <laughs> father time. <laughs> Fucking with you. Father judgment. It's about time we send some people down uh, to Costa Rica. I hear that's where um, that's where they've taken the Midnight Rider. He's supposed to be held up somewhere. Yeah, right there, it's the government right there. Hey, how can I help you? No, sir. Come on by. Come by as soon as possible, sir. We need you. Don't worry about it, sir. I'll have the, the orders and everything done when you get here, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Thank you, sir. Well, as the President of the United States of America called me, I told George Bush not to fucking call me while I'm doing my YouTube. I don't want people to know me and George actually know each other. I just said that, didn't I? Fuck. I'm not going to redo this video. I, I'm tired of redoing videos. So, you know, Father Judgment, these motherfucking cops went off the hook. Like I said in the video that I didn't even know you know, what color these people are. Here's the funny part about the whole thing. I do my reply. You know, oh, cops kicking ass. Well, let me say something about it. I said something about it. And the next thing you know is, um, when the war comes, we're going to be hanging gang members from lampposts. All these thug uh, gang members who can do drive-bys, yada, 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 need to be hung. I mean, to hear this shit, Oh, not to hear, but to see it typed at the bottom of your screen, you can actually see hate. I mean, that was the first time that I was totally disgusted. Besides, no, that was the second time I was disgusted. The reply to the Black Sod Help Illegal Aliens was, uh, gave me some fucked up, disturbing fucking, uh, comments. But, your video and about four other videos are only ones worth watching on this subject. Um, and I noticed at the bottom of your screen, right underneath your video, you're starting to get some of the same old hate shit. Um, blacks need to get their shit together, and, and whitey needs to stop this. I mean, it's like, why? Why would somebody even go there? And then on the bottom of my page, after I did what I did, they're like, you would have never made this statement if these guys were white. And that, that, after reading nigger shit for like, the whole first day, you know, all this nigger this, nigger that, and then all of a sudden, I wouldn't have made the statement that these guys were white. I made the statement solely on the fact that I, I didn't think anybody needs to be searched, snatched out of a car. I didn't see black when these guys were getting snatched out of the car. I probably didn't see no black people because there's like six cops on each pile. That one cop was kicking and stomping the guy, right? He's just stomping and stomping and stomping. And my wife says, what the fuck is he doing? Then all of a sudden he couldn't get in, so he runs to the other guy. And he's kicking and stomping at him. And I guess, you know, he stomped himself out. So then he runs to another pile and starts stomping again. I'm like, that's not a cop. That's an opportunist right there. That's that guy. That's the same motherfucker will run up and hit you behind the head if you said something he didn't like. You know what, dude, you know what? Fuck you, man. I'm going home. This has nothing to do with you. And then you turn your back, and he'll walk up behind you and hit you in the fucking head. That is that kind of guy that you can't... A woman couldn't tell him no. You know, it's late at night. I want to go home. And it's like, uh, 
No. He'll rape her. That savage motherfucker. And I'll bet you somebody out there is going to figure out who this guy is and tell him, this black guy said you're just going to rape and beat women. He's not a cop. The one that was running from pile to pile. I give all the other cops, okay, all the other cops like piles. They're piling up on these guys. Boom, boom, punches and punches and punches. And then, you know, there's kicks. But the one cop running from area to area to, to get in what he could, that was, that made it look sick. That right there, that's my main image from that. The one cop running from pile to pile to try to get a kick in. It's like, oh, fuck. I'm late for land dinner. Let me take a little bit off everybody's plate. And it's like, he was the one that one fucking cop was the one that pissed me off. I hate that to say. I really hate to fucking say what I'm going to say right now. What I'm going to say next, I hate to fucking say. I was about, say about 19 years old, a little bit younger, maybe younger, and we were all at my buddy's house, getting drunk, hammered, and these guys wanted to wrestle. Fuck. Bunch of grown-ass motherfuckers want to wrestle around the front yard. I said, fuck it. You guys wrestle. I'll be the referee. We're fucking drunk. I'll never forget this shit. Four cop cars pull up. Black guys out in front fighting. I'm like, no, man. We just had a few drinks. They're all here wrestling. And I was the, um, you know, referee. <laughs> you know, there's nothing going on here, man. You know, I was the youngest person there. I was drunk. And I'll never forget this. My boy says after you told after the, if you told the cops that we were just wrestling, um, then the cops said something else to you, and you said, "Go to jail for what? I'm not going to jail. I haven't done anything. First of all, I ain't got no fucking warrant. Fuck that." Huh. And I laughed in his face. Um, of course, I had my buzz on. It was four cops, and my boy's like, "Damn!" As soon as you told him. Go to jail for what? I haven't done nothing. They jumped me. Four cops jumped me. I think I weighed about 108 pounds, holding a 50-pound bag. I don't know. All I know is this. I fucking wake up all bruised up and shit. And they said, um, yeah, you know, we're letting you out. Fuck. Why in the fuck am I in jail? Arm flexing. By telling somebody... That you're not gonna go nowhere. You, I'm not going to jail. I haven't done anything. Why? No, nobody. Did, did, no, they didn't press any charges against me. They just said, "Oh, oh, I was out of control. I was arm flexing. Arm flexing. That's arm flexing." You take somebody to jail. You, you, it doesn't take four people to subdue a fucking ninety pound fucking guy. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. And it was four of them. And, and like, you know, I make that statement how they stand on your back like a fucking surfboard. They literally told me there were three guys standing on my fucking back. And one guy fucking with my arms. That's fucked. I don't wish that ass whooping on nobody. I don't give a fuck if they were shooting at people. That's what the law is for. And truly, truly, I truly believe. If those cops thought those guys had any guns, they would have lit that motherfucker up. And I truly will believe that would have been more justified than kicking these motherfuckers in the ass. I'm sorry. I am sorry. No man deserves to get shot down either. But you know just what I do. If you got any weapons, throw them out now. Get on the ground, motherfucker. Get down, motherfucker. Get down. Get down. Oh, getting back to Costa Rica. I think we should send in a group, maybe 40 deep, to see if we can retrieve the Midnight Rider. His words were tight, too. I know you guys were real close. That's why I'm talking to you. We need to find out what really happened to the Midnight Rider. I told you, he's supposed to be locked away somewhere in Costa Rica. That's all the intel I got on that. But when I find out exactly where the Midnight Rider is, and I will. We're all going to get together. We're going to put on our old shit like we used to. You know. And go in and get him out. Till then, I still think the Philadelphia police have been tubed. Later.